Hi, this, this is, is the Lord and Secret Show. Show. This brilliance next to me. I know she's so bright that it's almost washing out the screen. <laughs> this brilliance, amazing woman next to me is my wife, Lourdes, whom I absolutely love. One of the smartest people I know. And honestly, out there to change the world in a better way, which is rare and hard to find. And I'm happier than a man putting on warm undies out of the dryer on a cold day. <laughs> you ever try it? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I've ever tried it. That's, that's good times right there. But that's the cool outside. That's the cool outside. Oh, yeah. We're not in Cali. It's yeah, not, yeah. It's, it's just a little too high. I'm talking about our Illinois days. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> and this is my amazing, extraordinary husband who continuously su uh, supportive of everything I've been doing. It's true, but I'm, I have a name. What is his name? Oh. Raul Sanchez. <laughs> my hobby Chris. Oh. <laughs> Chris Lavoie. Right, 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 Chris. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> I'm that guy. That guy. Yeah. And the reason why I'm happier than a man who's putting on more Mondays out on a cold winter day is because we're, we're back. Um, so Lourdes has just come back to to me after after spending some time uh, yeah. helping with her mom. And that's kind of what we're talking about today. But before we get all into that, um, so uh, we do want to thank our, our, our friend and, and partner of the show, Dr. Newsom. Yes. His products are amazing. Extraordinary. Yeah. I mean, I mean, really, it's like the Inflamagon we love. It, it It's helped so many. I mean, even... Many of our friends who have gotten on it love it, mm -hmm. uh, regularly purchase it because they love what it does for their body. It really well, does make I mean, a really, difference. Well, I mean, really, really, if you if you go to drnewsom.com and and you look on there, he's got a he's got a a wide variety of different supplements that treat different different uh, things about the body. But what's amazing about his products is that what he's trying to do is he's telling your body to to fix itself so that it can heal itself. Yeah, if that makes sense. And, and there's a thing. It's telling it by you giving the body what it actually runs on. Blocks, yes. right. exactly when right. it gives it what it runs on, it has no other choice but to do its job. It's just, you know, it's like a car. You can't put, you, you can't take a car and put sugar in the gas tank because it's not going to run. Right. Well, but it'll it's kill a car. Yeah. yeah. For sure. And it's not going to run if you don't give it what it needs, which is the fuel. Right. So it's it's the same thing. You don't give it a tune up, a bunch of stuff falling apart. You don't get the oil change or if it doesn't have any oil in it. Right, the 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 um the motor locks. And once right. it locks, you're done. That, that's yeah. It. It's all available on drnewsom.com. All of us, all of us, think of him as the oil and the gas and all the stuff that yep. your body needs the fuel, to build because yep. that's exactly how he formulates his things. He's also extraordinary because he has classes that he teaches and yes. uh, uh, all available online. So go to drnewsom.com, take a look around. If you use yep. promo code, code Lourdes and Chris. Uh, at checkout, you get 15% off his product. Yes. So, and not just there. You also want to go to Dr. Newsom Naturals. No, it's just Newsom's Natural. Oh, sorry. Newsom's Natural. Because he's a doctor. I can't help but to say doctor. Yeah, doctor. yeah. So drnewsom.com and newsomsnatural.com. And you can, uh, I mean, he's got his, one of his best, like, well, so many products, but one of them are CBD. Yeah, you know, we should probably, you know, one day we should just get him on and be like, what about this? What, what about, about this? that? Yeah. What, about this? what does it do? What is that? What's yeah. That I think I, I think we we definitely have to get him on and we can go specifically on a lot of the uh you know, why, he has, you know, why he does what he does. What yeah. he does, how you know what it does for your body. It's it's amazing. I mean, we love inflammagon, we love super digest and, and super earth energy. Yeah. We've got to get I mean, the my, my, like we just saw it a couple episodes ago, get that mitochondria working for you. Yes, it's extraordinarily amazing. So the other, and so jump on to drnewson.com, use promo code Lourdes and Chris to try his products. You, yes. you won't regret it. You'll be you'll be like going back for more because it's just that amazing yeah. for your body. Yes. Um, and then we also want to thank those of you who are joining us on the Lourdes and Chris Show.com. All of our former previous episodes are listed on there, including this one. Just 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 where you can find us. Yes. After the other. You also go to a different page on that on website. You'll see products that we absolutely love. Of course, Dr. Newsom's on there. But yeah. also the things that, we re that we're currently using to help your mom. We'll get into that in just a bit. And, well, and, and we're not just using um, um, that for my mom because she also had digestive issues. Mm -hmm. um, we have her on the Super Digest. That's right. Which, by the way, she loves. Yes. Um, we have her also on the Inflamagon. brain. Infl well, and brain health. Right. You know, so even though we're giving these things that are helping her, I thought, Dr. Newsom's stuff is so amazing and it seems to work in unison yeah. with these products. I'm like, let's do it. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so you notice it's a little bit different here today. Oh, but I'm sorry. So let me finish my thoughts. So go on to yeah. lordisandchrisshow.com. I'll put it back up here again. 
And uh, go ahead and sign up for that loose newsletter as well. Um, we are looking for people to reach out to us about how they heal, they heal themselves naturally so we can start a new segment that we'll be doing uh, periodically where it's just like uh, those you know people who heal themselves yeah. naturally through natural means. Um, so look for that. Look for that invitation. And you, a couple of you responded, but we need some more to, to kind of get it going. So yes. thank you for that. Um, thank you for those who have been donating. Right. By and, the way. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Sure. The donation part is huge. Yeah, it's huge. And we really, really appreciate it. It really helps our mission that we are on. Um, we know that this mission is because of God. I mean, he has given us the opportunities to be a difference. It's something we've always wanted to do. I know I've been wanting to do it forever. Um, how can I be a difference in the world? And when all these health opportunities showed up and he always gave me, like the, the, he guided me on who I met, how I met them, what I need to do, how I need to do it. It was just amazing. So, and it continues on. And so we are, we're completely blessed to be on this mission. And thank you for those donations and for everyone who has been watching and supporting us in this mission because it is about being a difference to all. That's right. A uh, little bit different uh, look today on the show. There is. Yeah. Um, that's because our normal studio, which is our our, our living room, is yeah. is being occupied by Mortis's yep. I want a studio there, yep. After after a lot of um I don't know, teeth pulling and, and <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, all these different and, things and that we're moving. We 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 finally gotten Lourdes's mom to come stay with us, which yes. is what we what we were going for the whole time. The whole time. And yes. if, if a lot of you are following our story, you know that Lourdes's mom unfortunately uh, is dealing with um, dementia, and um, that was aggravated um, just recently when she had to stay in the hospital for a week. So yeah, so, yeah, it seemed like <clears throat> this is something she's been that's been going on for her for. Many years, I think they said since 2014 mm -hmm. or 2015. But the thing was, is that one of the things I I noticed is that it's been for decades that she's been on certain medications. Mm -hmm. And when I looked up the um, you know the side effects of those medications, it was actually causing the very symptoms. That's right that you would call dementia alzheimer's right memory loss all those things which was amazing i'm going wait wait she does cognitive function uh um, memory loss. okay right so and and um aggression yes. um a, a diarrhea like all these specific things that were mentioned i'm going she has that she has that she has that she, wow she has that so it was like wait a minute she's been taking these things because of other problems, right? And a lot of times when we eat poorly or we're exposed to certain chemicals or whatever, if we don't do anything to remove mm -hmm. and then replace simultaneously so it can heal, all you're doing is adding on top of the problem because you never got rid of the, the source, right? The cause. And if you don't get rid of the cause and you're just putting something to band-aid it, well, that thing that you're band-aiding has all sorts of other metals and issues that if you look at the list, you're going, huh, that causes these things. And then they're going to give her pills for the very thing that it causes. But the pills that they're giving her that that's because of that, that problem also causes the problem, the symptoms that she at the moment has. So it's like, here, this is for your memory, but it also causes memory issue. This is also called, you know, um, for your dementia, awesome, but it also gives you the very same symptoms that those things. So it's like it was bum. She had like I don't know, like ten different pills, and every last one of them literally was giving the same symptoms. Far too often, people will be uh, um, prescribed medicine, and and we're going to get into an episode in the near future talking about medical tyranny and about how they don't really give you all of your options so far. So oh, don't give you other options. They so just give you one specific thing. Yeah, so which is informed consent. Yeah. And so, so you know, on the surface, you're you're told this specific medication will help with that cognitive function, and of course, that's exciting because you feel yourself declining and and you want to get ahead of it, um, and so of course you take it. But but you know, but you were never told. Yeah, you, know, you weren't told at the same time it could make things worse. It, it can make the very thing you're trying that you're taking this for mm -hmm. be enhanced. Yes. Yeah. In fact, there was uh, one that. It started with anxiety medicine, if I remember right. Yeah. Back in the day, your mom was prescribed and, anxiety and, medicine. Yeah, for many, for decades. Right. Um, and, you know, a lot of times when we go through anxieties, you know, we all go through trauma. We all go through trauma. But depending on how your physical body is, 
health wise, right? If you're healthy, you're going to go through it, you're going to release and stuff, right? But if in the body there's already issues going on and then you receive that trauma and you, it's just going to like enhance the problem because that stuff that's in there never got removed. Yeah. So now you're, you're, you're getting pills to fix that problem. And those very pills are enhancing the problem in the first place. Then you take more and more. And before you know it, you're just like, it just spirals into yeah. this big one, mess. One, one massive lesson we've learned from Dr. Newsom that we've implemented in our daily lives with his products and, and just with our diet. And, and is that, is that, you know, we are susceptible to the outside world and, and yes. your body will not function if it's missing the nuts and bolts that it needs. And so when you're, when you're giving somebody uh, medicine that that's meant to inhibit, for example, uh, a, a process, it, it possibly is inhibiting that process, but it's not helping the process. It's not strengthening right. the process. It's, well, it's not healing. Right. The, the, it's not getting rid of the reason why, the cause. If you have the reason why this happened, you go, okay, so let me get rid of that thing that caused it. Mm -hmm. And now let me put it so it can heal that problem that this thing had caused. But if you're not removing it and then healing it, you can remove, but the damage is still there. So what are you doing to fix it? And then, and I would say even more frustrating as time went on with the anti-anxiety medications came some cognitive functions, some memory loss. And so yeah. the doctors obviously had a pill for that as well. And well, if never you mind the it, side yeah. effects of those, of, of that pill also yep. specifies that the memory loss is part of the, it's part of what yeah. the pill does. So, uh, even insomnia. Yeah. So now she's got, she doesn't sleep at night. Yeah. Funny that. Those are one of the side effects of the many prescriptions she was on. So it was definitely not, if, if it causes insomnia mm -hmm. and you're going to give somebody something so they can go to sleep, but the prescription they're giving them is also keeping them up. It's kind of null and void each other. Well, not just that, but, but insomnia in an insomnia, I'll say the whole thing in and of itself actually causes harm to the, to the mental function. Uh, yes. Prolonged insomnia does in fact cause harm to the, you, to the brain. Yes. Because your body does heal when you sleep and you regenerate, but you can't heal and regenerate if you're not sleeping. So picture this, it's, it's like your mother was on an ice hill, an icy hill. And then, um, she thought she was going to get something that would help her with it. And it turned out it was just like a banana peel. And then so long as she stood on that banana peel a certain way, then she didn't feel like she was sliding down the hill, but then just start adding all these other things. And, and it's just pretty soon she's just sliding right down that hill. Yep. And then it gets to a point where you think to yourself of all these medicines, why do all of them have the same side effects? Has anybody done the due diligence to see what she's on and what could possibly be cross cross uh, um, yeah, well, side like, effects? Well, that, and this is the thing. If all of those were causing the very symptoms she was experiencing, mm -hmm. now you're, 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 so this is going to cause those symptoms. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to add this other prescription that's going to cause those symptoms as well. And then this one and this one, and you got all of them. It's like, no, there was no way on the planet when you've taken that many things, which explains why she went downhill really fast when they kept her on all of them on a faith, faithfully every day from, I think it was like last year in October. October or whatever. It just was like, boom, boom, we're, boom, boom. We're, we're speaking Super. as if you know the full story. Yeah. So let's kind of back up just a little bit here. Yeah. Um, Lourdes's mom would selectively take these medications when she felt the need to do so, yeah. which drove and she's been doing that forever. And that's, that's since I met Lourdes, this was how she was. This is she never crazy. took it. Like we've been together yeah. for 25 years. Isn't that something? That is something <laughs> we've been together for 25 years for, but for 25 years, um, uh, I've known Lourdes's mom to just take a pill when she thinks she needs to. Now, yeah. naively, I was always telling Lourdes at the very beginning, Wow, that's not good. She needs to be on top of this stuff. She can't just eat yeah. Willy -nilly. Well, that's what we thought. That's what we thought. Because and, and that's that's common thought process. Yeah. Like you take this pill to help with this thing. Now, of course, we're like that was actually saving her. That was actually keeping right. her. Right. Even though system. those things were in her system, it's not like she put something in it her was system. So saturated yeah. that it was causing right. problems. Right. And, and never mind, it wasn't like she took something to remove what sat in it. Because people go, oh, it's out of your system. Not really. Yeah. It, you got to remember cells and tissue. You know, at a micro level, it's really hard for you to see. So it goes in. There's not like you did something to remove that. So it keeps adding on, which makes sense why things are getting. No, this goes back was. to Dr. Newsom's uh, um, uh, detox funnel, right? I mean, pretty soon the different systems of the body were just getting too saturated, to, and it, it required help from others. And eventually, it just stops detoxing altogether because it's waiting for something to clear out before the more detox right. can happen. So exactly twenty years of this, twenty five years of this. 25 years and longer. So last year, Lourdes's mother had a had a an incident where she she had a slip and fall accident, and um, 
she was held in the hospital for a week. And of course, in a hospital scenario, um, they definitely make they, sure that whatever you're on, you're yeah, going to be taken. Those, those pills that you receive is is like clockwork. It's it's the nurse's job to administer them at a specific time, and of course, they do. Um, and so she so declined. She tried to decline. Yes. And then. I, of course, we went out there and then I always go out there and I kind of give her juices and stuff. And the juices I make actually cleanse the system. Right, 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 right. It doesn't just heal the system. It also does a cleansing. So it's kind of simultaneous thing. I mm mean, -hmm. um, for those that want to know, um, obviously, it's just like a, a five thing that I do, which is the celery, celery mm -hmm. um, cucumber, green apple, green grapes, and I add kale. Yep. So those five things I put in there, and that's it's all about rebuilding and cleansing all at the same time. But anytime I did that, on the very first day of her doing it, she did feel a difference. She did feel better. Uh, you know, many people go on the first day. Of course, if you're hungry and you go eat, you don't go, I ate, but I'm still hungry for some reason. And I just keep eating. But I guess I have to eat for a whole week straight before I can finally feel full. It's like, no, once something goes into your system, your body doesn't go, it's not there. It's doing its job. You're taking the magnesium and the nutrients and, you know, my phytonutrients and all those trace minerals and stuff that the body's getting, it's taking it in. And when the body takes those things, it does start doing its job. So you do feel a difference. And she would feel a difference immediately. Yeah. Um, and then by the fourth day of consistently giving it to her like two and three times a day, she was like new. But again, it was juices, not smoothies, and it goes into the system. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when she starts and then I leave and then for months, she's not juicing. She she doesn't really know how to work those things. It's really hard for me to explain it to her. Even when I've tried, it's it's just hard for her. Mm -hmm. And to get others that, you know, if, if, in order for something to work, you need a team. Well, we're going to get into teamwork in just a second, actually. Yes. That's going to be on the other side of this. Yes. Uh, uh, we're going to take a quick break, actually. Uh, we just wanted to kind of in the background so people understand where we are now with what's yes. going on we're going to talk to your sister uh coming yes. back out of the break here uh who, who's experienced some of this as well we're going to kind of get into show some videos of where she where Lourdes's mom was where she is now um and in, in progress this is this yeah. is work in progress so work in progress so we'll be right back after this message with our good friend dr newsom and his products are amazing so amazing. Um, yeah and then and then when we get back we'll we'll kind of talk to your sister yeah Super Earth Energy. Super Earth Energy. For nearly two decades, Dr. Newsom was developing this formula. This one. Two decades of his life. Nearly two decades. I mean, that's really make dedication to giving you the best quality of a supplement that's going to give you not only energy, I mean, it improves adrenal and you know well so so it improves your adrenal and muscle fatigue yep. it, it actually helps with chronic fatigue syndrome uh, yep. a compromised immune system sleep deficit uh, brain fog which many are experiencing a low sexual desire i mean this two decades there's a reason he he put a great formula together he formulated and it's just amazing like we love it. Yeah. So here's the thing. It's like I was. We were just telling our daughter the other day. It's not. It's not like it gives you like a, a caffeine jittery no. feeling. It's more like you're just awake. Yeah. Like you know when you were a kid and you right. you know, you didn't feel. Kids don't get. They seem to not get tired. So it's kind of that. You don't go. Oh, I feel like all this caffeine. It's none of that because I personally can't do caffeine. It right. really it causes me nausea, migraines. I just can't do caffeine. Um, but. I take this and I just don't feel tired. I, like I can spend a whole day really getting a lot of things done and not feel exhausted or I have to take a nap or I still do my meditation stuff, but oh my gosh, amazing. It's because it's giving you energy at a cellular level. Now, all you have to do to get this product is go to www.drnewsome.com and look for Super Earth okay. Energy. We've got that, we've got, we've got it ourselves, but yeah. we should do a little, like still show them what that bottle looks like. And yes. there it is, Super Earth Energy. Right that's right. Good. DrNewsom.com. Yes. DrNewsom.com. In fact, right here, we see the link. Oh, see, I'm going to put it there. That's I was right. going to put it there now, but now it's going to be there. Well, he's going to still put it here, but definitely here. It's going to be two places now. <laughs> Super Earth Energy. And we're back. We're back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. So. So, um, uh, like we said, we're gonna we're gonna kind of kick things off. We're gonna get Lotus's sister on on with us right now. But just just to just to kind of finish the thought we had before we were right on break, yeah. we should have finished that thought. Uh, Lotus's mom wound up in the hospital, and so of course, again, remember that slippery slope that we were on. 
she just shot right down at this yeah. point because it was just all yeah. sorts of, and so well because you have to remember um each time i go out there I, i'm out there for a week or two mm -hmm. she's cleansed completely out mm -hmm. so even when she starts going back into those things once in a while it's not as heavy because right. it pretty much got cleaned out and she only does it once in a while but then this time around last year mm -hmm. in uh 2021 around october somewhere in the you know in the fall um she was giving she was consistently being told um you got to take these you have to take it it's dangerous no, no, well, no, no. So, and, then, and then for the insomnia at that point they added even more pills on top of that on top of that to and, go we're, to sleep. and we're talking uh um, prescribed prescribed medicines yeah. that um side effects again will cause uh, so memory gaps and and just, anger and mood swings and so, diarrhea uh, yeah. and the, the whole thing and, and so yeah you, you start to go man just just like throwing went, more wood on the fire yeah. and, and then saying it'll calm the fire down it's just bananas yeah. it's just so bananas. what was interesting is that when she was given this monday through sunday like all seven days every morning without fail every last one of those pills boom 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 she was starting to i mean deplete like everything about her her memory loss got worse her anger you know her coming up with with stories got worse and what's bananas is that everybody around your mom including the doctors were like see we told you this is going to happen thing. Yeah. it will get worse and no you know it, it was funny if, if we look in general right this is how it, in fact when they come up with any prescription drugs or anything and they come up with the side effects right they do it because they know that when someone is taking something they dot down that while they were on this these are the things that came up but for some reason they give it to patients and when they give it to patients and they start having those exact same things it has nothing to do with the prescription it's like but you listed it how did you list it as side effects on there because you saw that that's what was occurring to these these you know in these studies so why are we ignoring it when it does happen to a patient that was given to it? so but they, it's it's just the training it's just the, like we said medical tyranny there's no other way and this is the only way that they they say to patients this is the only way you can do it but no one really we've gotten to a point we've gotten so used to not paying attention or listening to our bodies that on a constant basis for months it was consistently being given to her that by the time we got there in march of mm -hmm. 2022 mm -hmm. i saw the digression and i was like wow that was fast from just me being here last year i think what most, i think you have to picture it like this she, you know, your mom had that cup and it was just filling and filling and filling and by the time we saw her in March, it was it was overflowing at that. It point. was very overflowing. And once it starts overflowing, yeah. it's like, okay, well now, yeah. now. Yeah, but the beauty was is that even then, you know, it was it was much harder, by the way. But at least when I gave her the stuff, I could see where she, the agony was gone and certain things were well, improving quickly. Well, that's all right. We're going to talk to Carmen real quick about that. Your, so we're going to get your sister Carmen on real yeah. quick. We'll discuss some of that of what we saw as far as how she was, and then and then. Well, I'm talking about in March. Oh, okay. Yeah. In March, when we went out there and she did, just digressed really bad of 2022, she, um, the moment I started giving her the juices, we saw immediate oh, progressive. Yes, yeah. Right, we right. started, you know, we started seeing the, the, the healing process By happen the way, fast. That was only juice. That was only the juice that we made her. Yes. Yeah. That's what occurred is it, it, we still were able to help. But then we left mm -hmm. and then the pumping continued um, daily. And one of the things we know is that one of the, the many side effects of every last one of the pills that she was taking was dizziness mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, losing your balance. Well, having that many things, losing your balance and getting weak and all that, she did fall. Yes. And then um, on that fall is when she went into the hospital. And then when she went to the hospital, on top of having all that already going on, then they really pumped her up. Yep. And during that time, while she was there, one of the things she ended up is she ended up having a stroke mm -hmm. and i looked up one of the prescription drugs that she has which was for blood pressure medication and that actually one of the side effects was stroke. stroke and one of the things that she barely took you know she only took when she felt like she needed for which was the, was the uh, blood pressure medication mm -hmm. but when you're in the hospital setting they're going to go by if this is what you got prescribed that is what you're taking um not do you want to take it this is what you're taking and she did have a stroke I even had a discussion with the um surgeon neurologist and I don't know why she had a surgeon neurologist because there was no surgery done but that's who they looked at and even had an argument with them um about this 
So this is what occurs because I understood why. And it happened in a hospital setting, not at home. And so things got really bad. And mm -hmm. that's where it got so bad that we ended up in the point where my sister then reached out to me in August. Yeah. And here we go with her. Okay. Okay. So, Carmen, how are you? I'm bueno. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you, sis. Um, and, you know, for the audience, you know, we've been uh, working with my mom to get things on the good side of things for her, I mean, well, as we've been talking about, dementia is, is, uh, has has you know kind of taken hold on Lourdes's mom and, yeah, and dementia and Alzheimer's is something. Uh, like they're they same mom. I don't yeah. mean to say one or the other. Yeah. Your mom, your guys, our mom, our mom, mom. Oh. Who's mom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes. has been dealing with Alzheimer's and dementia, and so we wanted to kind of get you on the on as well, just to kind of talk to you a little bit about your experience because yeah. she did stay with you for a little bit. Yeah, and, she, and you know, for about you can, two months. Yeah, and you could share some, you know, hopefully, hopefully share some anecdotes about yeah. what you were experiencing. Because just for example, today I was saying earlier in the episode, uh, just today we were we were driving around. She's never been to California before, but as we were driving, she would point at houses and go, "Oh, I've been there before, and those are nice houses, but just too big or whatever." And it's just like, okay, mom. So so yeah, and we kind of just have to go along with because certain things trigger her to. Um, to take it to other to other levels and we know you went through a lot of that because not only did she live with you for two months but before that you went over to her place every single day and at times you would stay for you know three to four days yeah, at a time a staying there yeah so not just did you, you didn't just go there every day but even on the other days you would just spend the night i guess i guess what i'd like so to you hear, really yeah because yeah, you have probably a better insight than we do because we weren't there every day but you you probably witnessed a decline like you probably saw this like just coming going, on. yeah. Coming was there a point down. where you felt like it was more rapid than others? Oh yeah. Why she mom, moved? mom has. Before you guys came along, mom was bad. Mom was to the point where she could barely walk. She walked with her back down, like with her neck down, her like an old lady, like she was like a hundred years old. And it's funny because I never saw mom like that. They're like, "What's going on, mom?" She goes, "I'm fine." And your mom wanted to go somewhere, but she couldn't go because she was too weak. She was not stable. She lost her balance all the time. And then eventually when she did come to my house, she was still the same. She was even weaker. When she came from the hospital, because hang on a second, let me go back. She was in the hospital, right? And um, I guess she had fell and hit her head. And um, when she went to the hospital, she was even weaker. She didn't make no sense. She was mumbling. When she would talk, she would like, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what are you saying, mom? She made no sense. I was like, what are you saying? I, and it broke my heart because she was all messed up. And then eventually, when she did come to my house, she did stay with Sri And she still was really sick when she stayed with her. She was very messed up she still couldn't walk she still made no sense when she came here i tried to help her but there was it was impossible because she was so messed up and i was like okay i'll do this for her mom i'll do this for mom that's what my husband peter uh i'm gonna try to do this and and nothing worked i'm like oh my gosh she's so messed up she was so broke she was she was messed Oh, so uh, physically messed up. Uh, mentally, I knew she was not there. So, or emotionally, uh, and I was like, I tried to talk to mom. Mom was not there. And then my husband said, "Well, Carmen, there's nothing you can do. Your mom's. It seems like she's at the breach where there's no return. I, you might just lose your mom." And I started crying like. Do not tell me I'm going to lose my mom. I said, because I won't lose my mom. And it still bothers me right now. When I talk about it, it bugs me because I was like, I'm not going to lose mom. No way in hell. I'm going to watch my mom die in front of my eyes. I said, I got to I got to get some help. So I said, I'm going to call Tita. Lord is. AK Lourdes. And I'm like, so let me call Lourdes because I, I need mom, you back to mom, our usual mom, our mom. 
Our mom we used to have, remember? A yeah, strong, beautiful woman who was always strong and always protecting us. And I was like, I cannot lose her. So I thought, okay, my two older sisters is kind of hard because they fought me back and forth, but I thought there's no way in hell. I'm gonna watch my mom decline and die in front of my eyes. No way in hell. So that's when I uh, contacted Chris first and he contacted you and we all got together, you talked to me. And then um, I was like, no, I know we, we fight as sisters, but that's, that's life anyway, whatever. But um, I need your help so bad. And I called you. And the, fin the funny thing is that I prayed every night. I cried my prayers. Every night I cried in my prayers. Please give me help. I need help. And, and then we got together and you told me that you also prayed the same thing. Which yeah, it's interesting weird. because while you were in Wisconsin praying, God help me, I need help with my mom. I'm over here praying, God help me that I can help my mom because you have given me all these tools to help so many people. My mom should be in the same equation and I just need to be there. So while I'm praying over here, you're praying over there. And even though we couldn't see what we were saying or that we were even doing these things, we knew that our heavenly father did see our prayers and did hear our prayers. And next thing I know, I get a call from you and you're saying, hey, I, I need you to help me with mom. And then you broke down and cried, which made me cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like such an emotional moment, but it was like, I, I was clear that God answered our prayers because we connected, even though at the time we weren't speaking to each other, but then we were <laughs> speaking to each other because we prayed for the same thing yes. and we connected. And you're like, I'll buy you a ticket this yep. week, come on out. And you did, yep. you bought the ticket, you actually rented, uh, Airbnb house, a full blown four bedroom home, uh, full which basement I, was nice. Which actually, in in retrospect, I believe was was abs was part of the plan ultimately because it actually was really helpful for your mom to not be in an environment where she, you know, where where you guys could control it a little bit better about what she was intaking, especially in the front in the beginning. Yeah, which was perfect. I mean, it was like everything I was praying for was answered through you. And everything you were praying for was answered through me. You know, like God knew. He knew how to do it, even though we didn't. We couldn't see what we couldn't see, but he could. And it was like the moment that happened, it's like I got there and I remember I was just like, oh my goodness, it, you could tell like she was vacant. No one was home. Everything was, was hurting on her body. Yeah. yeah, her body was in pain all the time. It was painful for her to even get on a bed. She had to be on something really low. She could, she could barely walk. Barely walk. Um, she had to wear diapers because, you know, she was, you know, she was having accidents. She couldn't make it to the bathroom. And I mean, together we were like, okay, this is what we need to do. And then I'm like, all right, we can't, these things that I've learned through watching all the side effects of these pills need to be completely removed, but it can't just be removed. It had to be replaced. Right. So I understood the stuff that we use, right, with the root brands and stuff. I'm like, okay, we can put these supplements in there while it's removing but replacing so that she's good. And it's interesting because it was like in four days, she wasn't crapping on herself anymore. That was a plus. That's the, that's it a, so was. That's a, that's it was for me. That's the, yeah. that's the medical term for I'm what? I'm like, you have no idea. I'm like, what? <laughs> there i was gagging every time like oh my god like, yeah that's because you have a very very weak stomach i have the most weakest stomach ever i'm like oh my god the shit i'm like oh my god she's <laughs> she crapped herself i'm like oh my god i'm trying god forgive me i can my stomach is very weak <laughs> <I broke. laughs> I, still, I was messed up. Yeah. But it was interesting because in, and through all those things, like we got, we got to go through what we're going through. But the beauty is that we actually got to see each day she kept improving. 
And all we did, did was improve. Yeah, every day. Good. We just literally removed all those uh, prescribed drugs that was given to her. And we're like, the body needs to heal and we need to give it the tools to heal. And this is just kind of hiding the receptor so that she doesn't really feel these feelings, but it's not really fixing the problem. And the moment we removed all of that, with all the side effects it gave, it's it's like it just started shifting her. And I got to say, it's um, the whole time we were there, because I, I mean, I went out there for the whole month. Uh, before yes. she flew out back with me. Yep. Yep. But it's funny because we got to see, because even you know through the studies that we've seen with people that are on these products that had 100% reversal on Alzheimer's, dementia, schizophrenia, autism, like all of it. But it is a process. And they even said that there's these moments they're going to have that they'll be fine. And all of a sudden they have these outbursts because it's, pos it's the part of the process of the brain healing. And we both experienced that the whole time we were out there. Like, one moment I'm because her favorite, the next moment you were her favorite. Her favorite, and then I, she yes, hated me, and yeah, then she loves you, hates about. me. Yeah, this. Super Digest. Super Digest, one of the most, well, I should say, one of the strongest digestive formulas on the market. That's, uh, yeah. And again, Strongest. this makes sense, right? Dr. Newsom, but now you guys are seeing a theme, right? Dr. Newsom just does the best because that's what he does. And um, when it comes to your digestive system, because that's where you get the most of, you know, nutrition, you definitely want it to be amazing. The top notch. Yep. And this is like 10 types of active digestive enzymes to enhance your digestion of proteins. Protein, fats, and, and carbs, carbs yep. as well as pineapple proteolytic enzyme and papaya proteolytic enzyme. enzyme. Proteolytic. Proteolytic. It sounds like um, an era of dinosaurs, doesn't it? Yeah, proteolytic. <laughs> or this dinosaur was found in the proteolytic era. I just like saying proteolytic. <laughs> yeah, that's actually our new word now. We're just going around saying proteolytic. And it's got pineapple proteolytic. We never had to learn proteolytic until we did until we yeah. met Dr. Newsom, and now yeah. we understand what proteolytic is. It's an enzyme yeah. that actually helps you break down protein. And by the way, and carbs, and you know, you need the enzymes to break down the proteins and carbs and the stuff that you need because that's how you get your nutrition. Right, so and it's, it's well, this one has like ten, right? Yes. 10 of the types of active yeah. digestive active. enzymes. Active, active, there's a key. Yeah, they're not active sleepy, digest. they're not sleepy enzymes. No. They're not just like, well, we'll get you. <laughs> no, they're active, they're running they're active. around. To get 10 types of active digestive so enzymes. So you wanna to go to www.drnewsome.com, look for Super Digest, that my lovely model wife assistant <laughs> is holding. And by the way, we, the products we share, it's because we take them. We're using them. Because we love what it does for our bodies. It's really good. So yeah. you guys definitely, oh my gosh, like it. Yeah. Digestion is crucial to your health and that's why Dr. Newsom has yeah. created this Super Digest. Yeah, if you, if you have issues with your digestive system, you're gonna want Super Digest. That's right. Yep. Super Digest. Because we're trying to, we're trying to illustrate the day-to-day -day, yeah. that, that we're experiencing. And I, 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 know, I think it'll help many people because yeah. some people will go, well, she's better and she's not in pain anymore. She's got, but she still has these moments of, Whoop. but they have to know that it's a process. You have to, you know, you kind of have to, it's worth it at the end. Yeah. You know, you just have to kind of go with this stuff. But I, like for you, cause you went through it at like, you know, hardcore where you were just, it was just you. And, you know, I mean, I, when I went out there, when you sent for me, it was me and you. But when it was just you, you had to mentally and you know emotionally be as strong as you could. But even with that, you still had your breakdowns. No. Well, there... well, well, my breakdown broke down. It was like I broke because um, mom kept falling to pieces. Like me and my husband was watching her walk, like just walk, just to the kitchen. And she like had no strength. And she was like, oh, I'm tired. Just from here to there, I'm like, from the living room to, to the kitchen, she was exhausted. So I said, mom, are you okay? My husband goes, Carmen, your mom's not okay. Your mom's very bad. She's, she's really bad. And I was like, it so messed me up to see her that way. I really thought in my heart that our mom was gonna pass away soon. I said, you know what? She's not going to live long. She won't live long. She'll live about 
in a week or two or a month. I'll give her a month. She'll yeah. pass away. You know, it's there's no way she's gonna live. There's no way. There's no way she's gonna make it because she's already broken. She's already walking weird. And she could really do anything. And my husband got like, uh, I don't think your mom's gonna make it. I really don't. Yeah. You know, it's, it's interesting you say that because it's true. Like, um, and, and of course, in our clips that we show here with my mom in the hospital and her being, you know, the way she was, I, I, when I went to go see her, I mean, we had just seen her in March. Mm -hmm. And I and I told you, I said, wow, when I got there, but it was so shocking how bad it was. So, yeah, it, it was like, I told him, I said, I don't think she would have made it if I would have waited till September to go see her. Actually, I think your mom expressed that she didn't think she was going to make it. She actually said, because I told her, I said, mom, you know, you're doing so much better. And it's amazing how when I first got here, you know, it's night and day. And she said, yeah, I, I, I didn't think I was going to make it. I felt like I was dying. And then she actually said she, she didn't did, she feel did. like herself. She, like, she did say that. She did. Yeah. She's, she didn't even feel like herself. And it's interesting that she could verbalize now that she couldn't feel like, that she didn't feel like herself. And it matched her actions because she wasn't being herself. She didn't look like herself. You know, she didn't even seem like she was there. Her actions and everything right. were opposite of who she is. She I didn't mean, want to go anywhere. Yeah, exactly. Like all of those things, we can see that what we're doing together has literally turned mom's life around and she is improving. She's got these moments, but we get that it's, you know, it's going to take, a, you know, it's been years of her pumping this stuff in her system and knocking her down. It's going to mm -hmm. take a bit to see the process now and to see where she's at now. It's like, and I think that's an important point that, that, that people need to kind of take a, take a page from what Carmen and Lourdes are saying is, is if you're dealing with a loved one right now that's going through something and, and, and you're just starting out with your journey to get them back to optimal health, it's important to remember where they were and, and compared to where they are now. And and right there, that just gives me hope because I, I know I saw I saw footage when you first arrived and I was concerned. Um, yeah. And like I said, just today, we went for a walk in the park and she, you know had a nice day. So, yeah, she had a stroke. It, not ho at home. She had the stroke in the hospital, in the hospital. And it was during yeah. the time that they made sure she took every single meds right at the time boom boom boom, boom. Yeah. and then she ended up with a stroke yes. her hand it actually affected her hand yes. and her arm but within a week it was back to normal not all the way like in other words it wasn't curved anymore and she can actually she couldn't raise it at all but now she can raise it at least somewhat here yeah. and this yeah. one like this so there's that difference but before it was down here and she couldn't put up her pants now she put buttons and everything her pants. She couldn't put on her shoes. She can put on her shoes with no problem. Everything was always painful. Like all that went away um, within the by, by the second week. She was doing all of that, mm -hmm. and by the first week, she could get on the bed when she first couldn't at all. Mm -hmm. And so it was just like these little things that just kept improving. And then mentally, she improved a ton. Now she still has those moments as you saw, but we're still in the process of getting down the other no, side I of that. Would say, I would say physically she's she's totally different. Like I said, for example, we went for a walk. The walk was quite a decent walk. It was around the whole entire park. So it wasn't like it wasn't like just a, a quick walk. I mean we we did a full a full circuit yeah. on the park. Um you know um was able to take her to eat. Uh, I help her in and out of the car, but beyond that she's pretty self-reliant when it comes to moving about. In fact, uh, almost to our detriment now because she's always trying to bounce on us and <laughs> cigarettes or something somewhere. But yeah. Now that now that she's better she's like I can physically go do this like yeah. not just yet and so but it, it's just steps and stuff that we have to take care of and do and but so what Lourdes was trying to say before was that we are extremely grateful for your part in all of this Carmen you did step up where others did not and and you took on and and <laughs> we know that you're dealing with your own health things as well and so yeah. so for you to have gone through all that it shows that the love yeah. that you have for your mother and yeah, I am doing my own health but um I've been doing what Tita told me Lourdes told me to do <laughs> you know, but it's over at Tita. <laughs> it's yeah, like, my nickname. I uh been um trying to do the stuff that she didn't give me. So oh yeah. Well but yeah, and, 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 and the beauty is because you're doing those same things, you get to also experience the healing as time goes on each day. Yeah, each exactly. Because uh, I don't know everybody knows, but I do have our congestive failure. Yep. So that's like, <laughs> is that yeah. how, how they're doing, by the way? How's that going with uh, being on these products, these root brands? Are you feeling a difference? 
I didn't take it for that one day. I didn't take it. I, my body freaked out. So yeah. Like, yeah. The book, no, it's, it's, it's potent stuff. I, I, yeah. felt, I felt weak. Oh, yeah. And that's the but beauty I, is, is she's actually taking the steps. She's doing all the right stuff. Yeah, it might be worth our while to get her connection with Dr. Newsom as well. So yeah. you can take a look at her situation as well. Yeah. So. I'm sure yeah. would love that. Yeah. yeah. I would love that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. We can, we can you know, between the root brands that are meant to reverse and, and heal, um, cause the body it, it's, it's putting it in the body and the body actually is what do it does the job. That's the trick. But That's the trick yeah. that a lot of doctors miss. Is it's that, it. The it's body different. will do it just giving it the right stuff. Yeah. But I think with, you know, I, I would love for people to see the difference too, with where she is today and where she will be, you know, in, in a couple months. So mm -hmm. they can see the difference as well on how you're improving yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. But, um, so we won't take too much of your time. I know you're, you're busy actually helping your son move, um, back home. He's, uh, our beautiful, <laughs> handsome, talented, talented, talented handsome, uh, nephew. nephew yeah. yeah. Okay, sis. Well, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you so much for being on the show with us. And thank you for being an amazing daughter and, and sister and stepping up and yeah. really being there for your mom. I love you. Well, well thank you for having me. Okay. <laughs> well, we love, you. love you. Love you guys too. Bye. Bye bye. bye. Dr. Newsom's Inflamagon. It's powerful anti-inflammatory botanical formula. So this bad boy's got curcumin, and he gets that curcumin from organic turmeric root. Yes, which is important, we want organic. And freeze-dried frankincense <laughs> oil. Freeze-dried frankincense oil is a boswellic acid, actually. Boswellic. Boswellic acid. Is, I love as, these words. I know, I know. <laughs> I know we're, 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 our, our vocabulary has been so expanded since we started working with Dr. Newsom. Yes. Uh, you know, and that's that's a, a boswellic acid is is important because it's it's one of the one of the things that help you. Uh, it, it, it helps actually with inflammation. It helps with inflammation, but it also uh, is an inhibitor for, for tumors. Yeah. So, you know, you know, so why not prevent or get rid of if you have one of those things or you don't know you have it yet? Yeah, right. Now. And why just jump ahead of it? Because this formula is bound to Dr. Newsom's unique fulvic acid and humic acid. Which, by the way, min those two minerals that you really do need if you want to stay healthy. And it gives maximum absorption and anti-inflammatory action. You, People. You're likely dealing with inflammation. Yes, because most people don't realize that you know, if you end up with certain pains and aches, that's inflammation. Inflammation causes aches and pains to let you know there's an issue. And prolonged inflammation is, is really what causes these, these chronic illnesses, uh, up yeah. to and including cancer. So, so we take this as well, and it's amazing. In fact, real quick tidbit, even as a thin person, I always have this little pouch. Mm. But since I've been taking this, I'm like, I must have had inflammation because that little pouch is gone. Goodbye pouch, no punch. So you want to go to www.drnewsome.com. Get that in anti-inflammatory uh, anti <laughs> formula of his in, in Inflamagon. I love the name Inflamagon. Like it's gone. Inflamagon. Inflam is gone. <laughs> We love it. <laughs> I we just, do. I'll let that one slide. We love it. Uh, we know that you love it too, because look, is. inflammation it's, is something that you really want to work a, work out of your system right now. Yeah, like you, when you, if you want to avoid health issues, inflam when you have too much inflammation, inflammation just creates, and especially if it's consistently going That's on, right. it causes diseases, it causes illnesses. Who wants to be sick? And you can trust Inflamagon because it comes from Dr. Newsom. And you know, we trust it. We and trust we love it, it. And we love it. And we take this sucker daily. Love it. We like to prevent. <laughs>you know, as you can see with, 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 with what we we're talking about with Carmen and some of those videos that we shared, um, she's drastically better. Drastically better. Is she back to herself right now? No. Will she get there? I know wholeheartedly without a shadow of a doubt, especially with all the stuff that I have been looking at and people who have done it. Mm -hmm. um, yes, absolutely. Well, the first question that people are going to be asking, we know you are, is what, what are specifically are you giving her? So, so, one of the things that I uh, got on her immediately, because you have to understand that when you remove something that's not good in the body, it does have that gap. Mm -hmm. You have to replace it. So what I did is we used Clean Slate. And this is from Root Brands, as you see on the link here that we're sharing. You can go there, um, sign up for free. Um, it's not an MLM. 
but it is a product where it helps and it is affiliate to help others to connect with each other um, from people that they signed up with. Um, so you sign up and now you, it, there's no charge to that and then you purchase. And then you, I, I, personally, I'm on, a, on a, an auto every month thing because I plan to be on this. I hope family's on it forever. Yeah. So clean slate, it goes under your tongue for my mom, even though you're supposed to slowly go up to it mm -hmm. because of her condition, I immediately gave her 10 drops. Mm -hmm. So I completely got out of the meds, gave her 10 drops of clean slate, went under her tongue. That's done twice a day. Mm -hmm. Gave her that along with, not like I didn't wait hours later, I gave her that. And then right after that, I gave her two zero ends, sure. which is amazing for focus in the mind and the brain and the gut and the heart. So I gave her that. Um, I gave her two restores and restore again. It, the word itself says it restores. You get all these great things and benefits for it. So I gave her all those three things along with the mitochondria um, defense shield. I, our mitochondria is in our cells. We want those to be. Right. Better. And she's also on Dr. Newsom's brain. I, and, and exactly. So after uh, two weeks of having her on these things um, that we started seeing like a, a night and well, day. Physically yeah. First. Physically yeah. She was so she first. was much better, even mentally. Yeah. Compared to she, there was no one home to someone was home. And sometimes she got she had some memory issues. Yeah. But she was home. She she arrived. Right. She wasn't vacant anymore, as you saw in the pictures. But then I thought I love Dr. Newsom's product. So I started getting her on top of continuing those four things. Mm -hmm. And I think, oh, and I gave her relief greens. So when I made the juices that I, me I mentioned earlier, I would do a scoop of the relief greens that I also get from root brands. And so I gave her that. And then I started, and then I added in uh, the brain health from Dr. Newsom right. and um, the um, super digest. The, those were in the gut health. So those are the things I gave her so that she was able to use the bathroom with no problem. She was back on track. She was, oh, you because know, that's an important thing. You, 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 as she was cleansing, we needed to remove. We have to remove. And yeah. that's, and so it was the whole nourish, balance and cleanse thing at every level. And we just started seeing her improve over and over. And it's just like one thing after another, the pain was gone. She was no longer having, you know, accidents. She didn't have to wear the diaper anymore. She was just, you know, she couldn't get on the bed. She can get on the bed now. She can put on her shoes. She can put on her shoes now. Mm -hmm. But it was doing these things that helped her. And so we continually give her this. We take it ourselves. Right. And so because it is very, you know, with everything going on in the environment, it, it's viruses and blah, blah, blah. This is to keep ourselves healthy. And it also helps to restore and to rebuild our bodies. You give the body what it needs. The body will do its job and heal. That's right. Um, and then and then just on a practical level, some 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 things that we've learned yeah. um, with this journey with Lourdes' mom is is that you if you're if you're in a situation and you're a caregiver, we're going to do another episode about about being a caregiver uh, down the road. But but just a just a quick overview. Patience is key. Um, patience is key. We we have had certainly some strife since Lourdes' mom moved in because uh, Lourdes' mom picked up some bad habits and. And that seems to be the big contention. Yeah. That she, well, there's triggers. And we've yeah. learned that that people do have triggers. And so for her, her simple trigger was either she'll watch TV and someone does this, you know, the thing. Or the trigger was if she watched something in Spanish, it triggered it. Yeah. Or um, the news is yeah. another trigger for those and things. What's weird is that she she was never the person that... that never this, did this. Did, never did. Yeah, yeah, no, and what we're doing the thing, because we know that she hears so, to avoid someone who can hear that we're, you know, we don't want to yeah. mention the word. Yep. We don't want to mention this. Because just mentioning that becomes a trigger. Becomes so a trigger. Yeah. And and so she desperately wants one and she demands yeah. she has one, even though she hasn't had one in days. Yeah. And uh but it's amazing on how well she's doing from not having any knowledge of anything to having her moments that she does break yeah. down, mm -hmm. um, gets upset or frustrated, anger. And that but that is part of the process of the brain healing. Which is why I said patience is key because uh you ha we have to continually remind ourselves that this isn't Lord, this is mom that's, that's saying these things or being angry it's or just with us. The, it's the, the condition that's being yeah. angry with us and you know and and then when we have these great amazing moments that's right we we cherish them and then when we're not having those great moments because things happen we don't go oh it's not working we can physically see that it's working it's just that it's part of the healing process that's i mean right. even when i was sick I couldn't wait to get over that hump. Mm -hmm. Things would happen and then I'm doing good. And then all of a sudden another thing happened, but it was just part of the journey. And we have to just be patient to know that months later, we're going to look back. And when you're 100% healed and you continue on that journey by staying on the stuff that got you there, mm -hmm. you don't want to stop. Now that it got you there, 
tells you that your body really love that fuel that your body needed. You stay on it because right. our, our food is depleted from it. So you want to keep getting it in your system. That's right. Uh, the other thing that we learned is that we have to build a team. Um, and yes. what that means is our whole family is, is, is uh, you know, here at home. We're all on the same page with what's, you know, with what's yep. best and an and understanding of what's going on in the yes. situation. And, and even with friends, we I have to let them say, know. Certainly, yes. certainly we've reached out to friends and we let them know the situation yes. and what's going on. And they're, they're on, on board with that. They, yeah. they, they know how to react yeah. to that as well. So that, yeah, cause we, cause a lot of times when the person's in the state that they're at and they're saying whatever crazy thing they're saying, mm -hmm. we, we don't want the person on the other line going against what the, she needs. She needs her allies. That's right. She, she, you can't have her at the state of mind feeling that she's alone. She needs to know that she does have someone that even if she's against the one person, she's got people that will back her up, that she's loved, that she's cared for. That's right. So she has, she doesn't feel even more anxiety or more stress. So we don't want to do that. We just allow what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. and, and, then, and don't ever beat yourself up where you go, I lost it. I was so upset with her. Mm -hmm. It's okay. We're human. We're going to experience that. But it's about saying... I'm sorry. Yep. I love you. Yep. And even if they don't accept it, it doesn't matter. You just have to keep reminding yourself that it's the d condition they're in right now, sure. not in the future, but what they're in right now. And soon you'll get them back. You just have to keep fighting for them, keep helping them help and help them to heal in that process. That's right. You know, and then the, probably the biggest tool that we've taken away from this is, is the tool of empathy, because you have to put yourself in, in her situation. I mean, we're yes. talking about a woman who you know, who's been a strong fighter her entire her life. She's life. had to fight her entire life. And her, her story is quite, quite amazing as it is. She's I mean, an extraordinary story. And, Puerto Rico yeah. and all that. But but uh, the thing that we have to remember is that right now it's got to be frustrating to be her. It's got to be, it's got to be, yeah. you know. Especially when you're constantly confused. Yeah, it's, it's very hard yeah, for her. Exactly. That confusion has just yeah. got to be confusing for her yeah. as well. And so she does things that kind of help her cope with that. And we just let her do those and things. Let, that yes. kind of help her and it's that. okay to do that. So long as it doesn't hurt her body. And that's right. the key. Yeah. Anything that if it's going to be a toxin that's going in, we just don't support it. That's right. And and we have to stay strong for that because we know that the end result is going to be better for that's her right. when it comes to her health. And I, I got to tell you, like you said, she's always, always been a very strong, loving woman who has stood up for her kids, who has fought the system and said, don't think so. She's mm -hmm. made a stand all the time to someone who has fallen into the system. Of legitimately, she's where I think you get your rebellious streak from. Yeah. I, well, I did. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I definitely got it from her. And it's interesting because I look at that and I have to constantly remind myself, especially when things get really rough. Yeah. I go, you know, I, I'll get so upset and then go, oh my gosh, how, how can I? And then I feel guilty because mm -hmm. it's like, I get that she, you know, she's, she's in that system, you know, in that state of mind. And I have to just constantly remind myself because it is heartbreaking yeah. when you have someone who's always been strong, who's always stood up for you, even as a child. If anything happened, whether it was school, mm -hmm. it didn't matter if I was in school and something was going on. I could have been wrong, but anytime I'm going on, I said, well, I did this. My mom still stood for me because I told the truth. And then she would always correct them because they could have handled it differently. So she, even when, as a kid, I didn't think, you know, well, I did do this, but because I told her the truth, all she cared about is I told her the truth and she didn't like how they handled what I had done and how they handled it. So she still stood for me, regardless of, for all those five kids. That's right. So, you know, she raised those five kids alone. Um, she battled through her life with abusive relationships. She's even as a child, and I mean she was a singer, she and we'll go into that and eventually we'll on one of the episodes. No, she's gonna be on the episode in yeah. the near future. It's just that it's just we're well, waiting until she gets to that yeah, level to where we yeah. yeah, and we can share her with you because she is an extraordinary woman, amazing woman. And can't wait to share you guys with her because she is someone that will always be like, she makes a difference. That's right. And she's always made a difference in other people's lives. And I think that's where I got it from. So yeah. you guys will get to see her as well. Yeah. And so, so it's just, it's just a journey that we're going through and, and, and we have support because we reached out for support. If you're doing, doing any sort of similar journey, also reach out for support. You can reach yes. out to us. We're supportive yes. we're like that. Um, so as always, we, we do appreciate you coming by and, and, and we do want to talk about quickly again, uh, just a reminder, go on to drnewson.com. Yes. Check out his full product line. Um, he's extraordinary. We're using his products, not just our, for ourselves on a daily basis, but, but also yeah. for your mom to get yes. her back on track. And that's one of those things that Keeping we use. Healthy. So go to drnewson.com. You can also use promo code Lourdes and Chris there to get your 15% off. So really jump on yep. there and, and you know, save, save 15%. May as well. Yes, might as well. Yeah. 
Um, and then those of you who have gone on to the Lordison Chris show.com and you've donated, we appreciate, we see you. you. Um, there's uh, donate right there from the website. It helps us continue our journey with uh, what is clearly our calling, which is to, to change the conversation around health. And when it comes to mind, body and spirit, and that's what the Lordison Chris show is yes. all about. Um, and then you can follow us on social media. If you haven't already started doing so, then more, why not? Come on, man. Just go on there and then do not just share and, and like, but you know, you can comment, you can get I, it out there. I like to joke around, but but Lourdes is absolutely right. By you like, uh, like and involvement and sharing our content, it does help us way more than you might think it does. Yeah. It helps our metrics well, yeah. out there. And it helps others that are needing yep. this information. So, yeah. Yeah, on a, on a major level, it helps others. Uh, the, the one thing that one of the things that we always like to say is you don't know who needs to hear that thing that you know. And so yeah. that's that's the whole point of, uh, of us being on yeah. this right now. And so uh, as you'll see in the description, there will be also where you can get to where we got the root brands, which is actually rootbrands.com forward slash create option C dot sure. com. Sign up. Um, you do need a referral code, which is create option C, and yeah. you'll see it on there anyway. Easy. Yeah, it, it's, it's to make it smooth and easy. Um, you can go to drnewsome.com, use again, like you said, promo code Lourdes and Chris and get 15% off. Um, and yeah, let's stay on a healthy road. Yeah, uh, we're going to keep you all informed as to what's going on with Lourdes's mom as we go through it. Yes, uh, it is a it is a rare opportunity for us to be able to show um, uh, option C in action. Um, that's what we're doing right now. We're, yes. we're doing option C with your mother right now, and it's going to—it's turning her around, and, and her life will be much better on the end of it. And uh, can't wait! Can't, can't wait, wait for it to happen. Yes. Um, we do have an event coming up in the next couple of months, so go on to lordeschristo.com and make sure you check out for that. And yeah. otherwise, God bless you. Thank yeah. you for coming. We'll see you again in about a week on Thursday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time because that's how this works. And we love you. Love you. Bye.